Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. In the last video, we talked about MFC Mappy tool. I demonstrated you how to troubleshoot out of office issues using MFC Mappy and how to find hidden folders of recover deleted items folder and how to delete emails from those folders. In this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to troubleshoot retention policy and retention tags issues using MFC Mappy tool. Before we move towards today's use case scenario, I want to discuss two important concepts of retention policies in Exchange. Manage Folder Assistant and MRM or Messaging Records Management. We are not going to discuss how retention policies work. I have already covered these topics in one of the previous videos. I will share the link of those videos and you can go through them. So Manage Folder Assistant is a mailbox assistant that applies and processes the message retention settings. Those are applied within the retention policies. In Exchange Online, by default, Manage Folder Assistant runs every seven days. But if you want to run it immediately, you can force it using start hyphen managed folder assistant command. When you apply a retention policy or a retention tag on a mailbox, MRM or messaging records management analyzes the mailbox items. It tags those items based on the retention period and the retention action of the retention policy. And then the appropriate action is taken on the mailbox. But in few scenarios, when you apply a retention policy on a mailbox, that retention policy does not take any action. Now, I would not recommend you to use MFC Mappy tool as a first approach to troubleshoot retention policies issues because there could be n number of reasons why retention policy is not working. So let's assume you have done all the possible troubleshooting, but a retention policy is not working on the mailbox. So when you run start hyphen manage folder assistant on a mailbox, it triggers MRM on that mailbox. So let me show you how you can use MFC Mappy tool to isolate and troubleshoot retention policies issues in exchange environment. So first open MFC Mappy tool, tools, options. Make sure these two options are checked. Then go to session. Log on, open the profile, your Outlook profile. Double click on your email address that you want to troubleshoot. And expand root container. Now, as I said, when you run start hyphen manage folder assistant on a mailbox, it triggers MRM on that mailbox. So let me show you how you can check MRM property in MFC Mappy. You can check this from PowerShell as well, but let me show you from MFC Mappy tool as well. So expand top of information store. First, expand root container. Expand top of information store. Right click on inbox and then click open associated contents table. Maximize this window. Go to message class. Now here you will see a value that says ipm.configuration.mrm. Let me sort it again. This one, ipm.configuration.mrm. So this is basically the MRM or messaging record management rule that actually tags the items on the mailbox. Now, if I delete this rule, Delete message, hard delete, click OK. Now this rule is deleted. We do not see that rule here. And if I go to PowerShell, make sure you are connected to Exchange Online PowerShell module here. Now run start hyphen managed folder assistant identity and the name or the email address of the user. So this command is completed. Go back to MFC Mappy. And we should see this rule again. Let me open this window again. 
go to MF Stream API. Open associated contents table. Message clause. And we can see this rule again. If I delete this rule, go back to PowerShell, run the same command again. This will create this rule again. You can see here ipm.configuration.mrm. So as soon as you will force manage folder assistant on a mailbox, it will trigger MRM rule or messaging records management rule on the mailbox so that the items can be tagged as per the retention tag or policy applied on the mailbox. Now let me show you one scenario. Let's go to PowerShell and in PowerShell, let me first increase the font of PowerShell. Let's do it from options. Let me increase the size. Okay, now here, if I run get hyphen mailbox hyphen identity concept pipe FL and I want to know which retention policy is applied on this mailbox. So the retention policy that is applied on this particular concept mailbox is default MRM policy. And if I run get hyphen retention policy tag hyphen mailbox concept. So this will list all the retention tags. Those are applied on this particular mailbox. So I can see these many retention tags are applied within this policy and these tags are applied on this particular concept mailbox. Now, if I want to verify same thing, all these tags that I want to verify from MFC Mappy. So how can I do this? Let me close this particular screen. Go back to top of information store, right click inbox, click open associated contents table. Go to message class. Select ipm.configuration.mrm and at the bottom where you see these many values here, look for PR underscore roaming. Let me maximize this PR underscore roaming underscore XML stream. Find this value. Double click on this value. Let's maximize. Now under text section, you see this text. Copy this to notepad. Paste it. Now let me show you the tags. This is the one tag. So the first tag is five year delete. Go to PowerShell. Five year delete. We can see here. Second tag is one year delete. That ends here. This is the third tag. Six months delete. You can verify from PowerShell as well. One year delete, six months delete. So like this, you can verify all the tags. Those are applied on this particular mailbox. You can even see the grid of the retention tag. You can see from here. If you want to check this from PowerShell, so you can run the same command and look for grid. And let's look for name as well. So five year delete good ends with e f e five years delete and the good value is here e f e the object good is the good value of the retention tag not the good this is object good so this is how you can verify the retention tags and the retention policies those are applied on the mailbox using mfc mappy tool now let's assume I have applied this policy on the mailbox, but this policy is not working or this policy is not taking any action on this particular mailbox. So in that case, what you can do, 
you can go to from here like we did right click in box open associated contents table this will open this particular screen and here you will see ipm.configuration.mrm that is mrm rule right click this rule and delete this rule select hard it and click ok this will delete the mrm rule on this particular mailbox now to trigger this rule again like i have shown you earlier run start hyphen manage folder assistant on the mailbox and this will trigger mrm rule again on this particular mailbox if you want to verify you can go to mfc mappy and we can see this rule is triggered again so now this particular mrm rule will start processing the mailbox again and it will tag the items so you can isolate or you can check if your emails are getting moved or getting deleted as per the retention tag or policy applied on the mailbox so let's consider one more scenario let's say let me close this window and let me change the retention policy on this particular mailbox as of now we can see the retention policy that is applied on the mailbox is default mrm policy so let me assign a different policy to this mailbox so first let me check what sort of retention policies i have in my tenant get iphone retention policy so i have these many policies so first let me check what tags are applied within test policy i'll apply test policy on the mailbox so pipe fl and let's look for value retention policy tag links hit enter so i have only one tag with the name test tag so now let me apply this retention policy on the mailbox set hyphen mailbox concept that is the name of the mailbox hyphen retention policy and name of the policy test policy so now this policy is applied let's verify so we can see the test policy is applied on concept mailbox now if i go to mfc mappy open associated contents table and here look for mrm rule ipm.configuration.mrm at the bottom look for pr underscore roaming underscore xml stream double click but here i can still see the old retention tags those were applied on the mailbox and the reason is because this mrm is not refreshed so what i'll do i will right click on mrm delete message hard delete click ok go back to powershell now here run start hyphen managed folder assistant go back to mfc mappy let's wait for a few seconds it should be created again let's run this command again so now this rule is created here we can see mrm rule select the rule look for pr underscore roaming dot underscore xml stream and now we can see the new retention tag is applied with name test tag so this is how you can troubleshoot retention policies in the next video we will talk about calcheck tool or calendar checking tool so if you have learned something new from this particular video please write in comments and subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you for your time take care